Dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome to Chazzy's equivalent of the Discovery Channel sort of rip off of Animal Planet series segment thingamajigabob where I talk about animals. <laughs> All right, well guys, today I'm gonna be talking about the Megalodon, okay? In case you guys don't know, you should know unless you live under a rock or you're a little kid who doesn't really know too much about anything and you've never heard of this thing, but the Megalodon was a giant prehistoric extinct shark that lived approximately about uh, 23 to 3.6 million years ago during the early Neocene and Pliocene periods. And this thing was estimated to be about 45 to 52 feet long, anywhere around that margin. Of course, nobody has ever seen one to measure it, but they, uh, they get these numbers based on the fossilized teeth that they found of these things and the teeth alone are pretty much like some of them are the size of some are a little bigger than your hands you know and if you see photos of guys standing in the jaws of these things i mean they can swallow a man whole perfectly without even feeling it, you know it's like we swallow i don't know like a shrimp or something you know but anyway um why do i want to talk about this shark today because i like sharks i've always liked sharks since i was a little kid i've always been fascinated by them and uh i've also really liked dinosaurs in the past but sharks are a little more realistic because they actually exist you know they're actually still around today dinosaurs aren't exactly in the capacity that we uh uh, that we grew that we knew you know and the thing with the megalodon is that try to imagine something this big you know like I'm going to uh, show a few photos here of artists renditions of what this thing may have looked like Now try to imagine going to the beach and seeing this thing right under you, you know, it just swims casually right under your feet, you know, doesn't even look at you, it doesn't even see, really feel you're there because you're so small and insignificant, you know. Have you guys ever seen the movie The Meg? It's one of my favorite movies ever. I even did a review about it quite a long time ago back when I watched it and I think that this movie was really cool because it, uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of CGI but it still shows how it would be if a Megalodon were still alive today. It drops this theory of, about, about life existing within the Mariana Trench, you know, and down there is a, a, a really thick layer of some kind of a, a cloud of something, I don't know, something that's kind of toxic, you know, and there could be giant things living under there like the Megalodon, and at one point during the movie, the plot point is that the shark manages to break through because of a little opening, but anyway, that's beside the point. The thing is, this thing was huge. This thing was really, really big, and I actually really enjoy curating to the idea, the possibility that it might even still be around today. I don't entirely believe it, but then again, we really don't know much about our own oceans, do we? There are so many patches of the ocean that we haven't explored. You know, I think human beings have probably only explored, what was the statistic? Like 6% of the oceans or something, you know? We've only explored that much of the oceans, you know? And that, like, I don't even think we know a lot about what's on the surface. You no, know, there are probably patches around the, the surface that we haven't even seen, you know, much less the deep. So there is a possibility that this thing is still around, you know? I mean, let's not completely discard it from the table, you know? We're making new discoveries every year, you know? And up until recently, people thought that the giant squid was just a myth, you know, the Kraken wasn't even real. But then they found an actual real giant squid off the coast of Japan, you know? So maybe now the search for the colossal squid can uh, take form, right? But anyway, regarding the Megalodon, I think it's really cool to adhere to this idea. I think it's really nice to, to, to try to think of the possibility that this thing is still living with us in our deepest oceans, you know? And if you ever encounter one, you're gonna die, pretty much. I'm pretty sure that this thing, I mean, maybe humans to, to Megalodon, to a shark that ate whales, I think a human being wouldn't be too much of a tasty morsel, but I still wouldn't want to see one because my, the Megalodon was so big, guys, especially the Carcharodon Megalodon. I think it's the biggest species. You know, I think that this thing could swallow you by mistake. You know, it's like a, uh, it's like a, a basking shark swimming with its mouth open to catch all of the plankton and the, the things that it eats, you know? It might, like, it, a Megalodon could swallow you by accident, you know? It wouldn't even, it wouldn't even choke. You know, that's how big this thing would be. So there was actually a video posted some time ago. Uh, it's It actually happened here in Brazil. I forgot exactly where, but there was this training regiment for the Brazilian military and they, they were landing in the water doing some kind of Coast Guard training mission or something. And then you see in the corner of the image, a really, really big figure swimming 
behind them, you know, passing right under them, like a little bit behind them, you know, or just under the surface. Now, depending on the kind of video footage that you see, it's not going to be very discernible, but if it's, I'm going to try to find an HD, good quality clip of that uh, thing, of that uh, moment, and I'm going to post it right here. Now, the verdict is, I don't know if this thing is actually real. You know, I don't think it's a fake. I don't think somebody went and edited something there because there's really no reason to. Besides, it's like, if it was an actual edit, it's so badly done that it just doesn't, just doesn't really feel like somebody would go to the trouble of it, you know? But the verdict is, I don't know if it's actually something like, maybe it's just like a, a trick of the camera or something, or maybe it's just a whale or a, a, just a big fish. I think that like, like already immediately going to Megalodon is a stretch, especially here in Brazil. I th uh, but hey, you know, just you never know, all right? But I think it's a pretty nice video. It's not exactly convincing, but I do think it's pretty cool. And there was actually a, some time ago, I don't exactly remember, uh, when, there was this video that surfaced on YouTube, but I'm not even gonna bother putting it here because it's real. It's obviously fake, you know? Uh, people that were at allegedly attacked by Megalodon, it's, it's like one of those really stupid found footage uh, teen flicks, you know, where, where everyone dies in the end, you know, they're partying on a boat, and then there are crashes and loud sounds, you know, and they start screaming, then water comes in and the camera cuts. It, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. I think people, I think that was probably the most clickbaity video ever, you know? has nothing to do with the Megalodon. However, there is something else. You know, there there are a few videos that at least show them to be, uh, I don't know, like I don't think that an actual real convincing good Megalodon video has ever surfaced, but there is a photo. And if I find it, I'm gonna put it here. It's a photo that shows, it's a really old timey photo, I think back in the World War II, maybe even the first one. It's kind of like, a, there's no color, but it's a, it's a photo that shows um, a submarine, right? Uh, in the water and next to it is a shark but like you see that the distance from the fin to the the tail is really really big it's like that alone is about the size of the submarine so if it's real it w must have been a huge shark i'm not entirely sure i think that this was disproven i think it was proven to actually be a real shark but it was something about the perspective or something but i still thought it was really cool so i'm gonna put the photo here Now, here's the thing, guys. I don't know if you know this, but I am really afraid of open water. You know, I'm, I'm kind of, not, it's not like a phobia. I don't think it's a phobia per se, but I still am really afraid of the ocean. You know, I, I, depending on the circumstances, I might even have a panic attack. I'll be terrified, especially if I'm out there in open water doing nothing. You know, if I'm on a boat, obviously I'm going to feel safer, but I probably wouldn't go in the water in open water. You know, like I, I, I'm very curious about diving like to coral reefs and in shallow water, you know, playing with dolphins, all of those things. But diving into actual deep water, like if, if I I go into the water and I look down and I just see darkness I'm not going <laughs> I'm not gonna dive any further than where I am you know I probably won't even get in the water and guys the ocean is huge you know not even the ocean there are many different oceans you know but to me they're all the same there's no actual distinct barrier that divides the oceans right it's all one huge body of water on our planet you know it's just that we we separate them. Oh, there's the Arctic Ocean, there's the Pacific Ocean, there's the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, whatever. It's all one big, huge mass of water, you know? And in that one big, huge mass of water, there could be anything. You know, there might be sea monsters that we've never even seen or heard of or even thought could exist, you know? So is it really that big of a stretch to assume that a Megalodon could still be out there? Probably not just one, you know? There might there might be a, well then again, this shark was so big that if there was a bunch of them, I'm pretty sure that they would have popped up somewhere in the world. But what if there's like just one? There's one rogue Megalodon out there surviving, you know? If it dies, then yeah, it's gonna go extinct, but Maybe there's just one still around, or maybe there's just one really freakish big great white shark that we haven't, I don't know, you know, but I think it's easy. If you see a really big great white shark, I think people might look at it and confuse it with the Megalodon, you know, but the actual real species of Megalodon might have been completely wiped out, you know. I think it was about, uh, they say about 3.6 to 4 million uh, years ago is when it actually got wiped out completely, and 
In my personal theory, I think that the Megalodon could still exist, but I doubt that it does. I doubt that it does, because even if this is a shark that uh, thrives in the deep sea, I do still think that even the biggest creatures have to come up sometime. Not for air, they breathe underwater, but I mean like, curiosity. You know, it just, maybe if it sees a prey, you know, and it starts going up and up and up, it starts swimming up and then it sees daylight. It's like, what the hell is that? Then it goes up, it might even break the surface, you know? So I think, and with so many people studying the oceans with submarines and sonars and cameras and things like that, you know, you would think that somebody might have seen one at this point, you know? So that's why I'm a little skeptic about it. I think that if a Megalodon did exist, then at this point, after so many years, people would have seen one, you know? And maybe somebody did, but didn't live to tell the tale, huh? Maybe somebody did already encounter one, but it was their last encounter, you know, before it swallowed them accidentally, because it's a really big shark, you know? But you never know. There was this one thing recently where a great white shark was tagged with a radar and it like a, a GPS kind of thing, and then suddenly the shark was pulled really rapidly down towards the deep and it just died, you know, the, the, the radar cut off, which implied that something even bigger than that shark dragged it down and ate it, you know, so maybe, just maybe, it could have been a megalodon or just a, the, a shark of the same species, but even bigger, but yeah, something bigger than a nine or 10 foot, uh, 10 foot long gray white shark probably might already be considered a juvenile megalodon, but anyway, I think that's it for today, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about, not a very long and detailed video, I just wanted to give you guys an analysis of what I think you know, about this thing. I'm really interested in the Megalodon. I really hope that it does exist because it would be awesome. But if it does, I think that nobody would ever want to dive again. And it would probably throw the, the food chain in the oceans off a little bit, you know? The hell was that? But anyway, yeah, I think that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. I hope I uh, piqued your interest enough for you to go research it yourself, you know, look it up, watch a few videos. I left links to a few videos throughout this video about uh, different channels talking about it. So yeah, long live the Megalodon. <laughs> So that's it. Hope I taught you guys something new today. This is Chazzy, signing out for now, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.